Hey, good evening guys. Steve here. Today is Saturday, November 1st, 2014. Um, hope you're all having a good week. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to share with you. Mostly Hot Wheels, a couple, um, couple piece, MBX pieces, and an M2. Oh, and a uh, Siku, um, which you'll find out in a minute. Um, all these finds, that um, all the stuff that I'm going to show you today are based on... Uh, pieces that I found at flea markets. We also had our November, the C4 club had the November club meet today, uh, the monthly meet, and flea markets and some trades. So, um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Got a lot of stuff to share. <clears throat> um, so today, I'm going to go ahead and start with the um, this first piece. This is a um, 26th Annual Hot Wheels Conve Collector's Convention from Garden Grove, California, October 3rd through the 7th, 2012. It's the Blown Delivery. Um, very nice piece. Um, I got this from one of the uh, guys at the club meet today, Calvin. So thanks, Calvin. Uh, looks like there's 3,000 of these, and this is number 2586. <clears throat> so this is the, I believe this is either my fourth, maybe fifth uh, blown delivery. Um, I, it's been a while, and I heard about it, all these the, this particular casting a while ago. And when I got my first one, <clears throat> I knew they were really popular and um, they're really sought after. But um, actually, getting my first one and seeing them, I, I really, I now I understand why they're such so popular and why they're such a nice piece. So, it's a, as you can see here, it's a yellow color. It's got uh, the Collector's Convention tampo on the top there. So, very cool piece. So thanks, Calvin. Got a good deal on that. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see. This particular piece, um, the, I got, I trade uh, occasionally with the guy at uh, on a club on the Facebook page, on our Facebook page. Jonathan and he um, is from Singapore and he sent this particular piece to me the loose it's the uh, 2015 I believe it's the B case super treasure hunt the a uh, Toyota AE 86 so that's what it looks like um, not bad I mean nothing really special it's a super um, and actually surprisingly this actually rolls very well um, be interesting to roll it down the track just to see how it does. I mean, it's not that heavy. It's a uh, plastic base, metal body, but uh, it does the wheels roll exceptionally well. So um, that will get added to the loose uh, case that I have, display case of my supers. So I just need to find at least one carded one. I believe if this, in fact, is I can't remember if this if this is in fact the B case super. Then we'll we'll all most likely see these on K Day next weekend, next Saturday. So hopefully we'll do another video on uh, K Day uh, finds. So thanks, Jonathan. Um, this particular piece I got from uh, um, Ernie at the flea market. The guy we um, a lot of us um, do business with. Um, he actually was able. I, I had a Super Treasure Hunt uh, Toyota Tundra that I wanted to trade and and um, he this is one particular piece that I needed so we went ahead and didn't even trade um, this is uh, I have a loose one of this but I needed a card one so thanks Ernie uh, this is the of course the 73 Ford Falcon XB from 2012 one of the newer uh, super treasure hunts this is the 2015 A case this is of course the cool combi super treasure hunt um, I also um, acquired this through trade through Ishmael. Uh, thank you, Ishmael. Uh, this particular piece I traded for a the '69, uh, the purple '69 um, Super Treasure Hunt. So from earlier from the year. So um, thanks, Ishmael. He was able to find like a, like four of these, I think. So I, now I have two of them. One of them will get opened, and one will be of course carded. I am almost finished with my 2011 regular treasure hunts. Um, I kind of, as I've stated in the in previous videos, I've, I've, I'm all caught up with the new treasure hunts, both super and regular, and I've been working backwards now. And now I'm trying to finish the 2011 treasure hunts. Um, I only need three more, and I was able to get two of these from Ernie. This one here is the 20, of course, the 2011 uh, 71 Mustang Funny Car. And the 63 T-Bird 
from 2011 as well. So I now I only need one more regular treasure hunt from 2011. Um, that is the OCC splitback. Okay. Moving on, uh, this is um, this is the next uh, not the new next next case, but this is the current case if you want to call it of the uh, retro entertainment line. This is uh, I got this through Chris Apple, um, also a good friend of mine who actually got it from Ernie's a couple couple of weeks ago. Um, he went and picked them up for me. I got the full set. I'll be able to um, add these. Uh, all these will get open and get added to my, my loose retro entertainment sets. And I will um, do a separate video on that probably once I fill, open these up and fill them. So that, because I have them all in cases here. But we have the Zoolander 67 Ford Bronco. We have the Hummer. Let's see if I can get a better picture here. Homer basically looks like the main line. The only difference is, of course, the real riders, and there's some additional um, green um, green detail on the top. Okay. The '77 Dodge uh, Custom Van from Anchorman, Ron Burgundy. I don't know what they're thinking about this, but uh, the, the nine, Beverly Hills 90210-65 Mustang. I don't know why. The, of all those TV shows and the iconic cars that are out there from other shows and movies, I'm not sure quite why they picked that one. But And then finally, um, probably one of the two of my favorite, I like the Hummer, is of course the next uh, Lotus Esprit S1 from the, James Bond's The Spy Who Loved Me. And does this one have, I'm trying to think, it looks like this does have, I'll have to open it, I can't really tell. It look, looks like they may actually, it, may, it does actually have wheels underneath. Um, the question is, if does it have wheels, and the, the second part is that if it does have wheels, are they real riders or are they plastic? So it should be interesting. Alright, moving along. Uh, this one I actually got from Ishmael as well through a trade. Uh, I have this full set loose. Um, he has a whole bunch of them that he was offering. This is one I want an extra one of, so I'll put add to my Mercedes section on my display case. This is the this is from 2006. It's the Bull Run cars. There are, if I remember, six or eight in the series. This is, of course, the Mercedes Benz SL55 AMG. All right, moving on to, let's see, let's go up to some boulevards here real quick. Um, I've been the I've been finding these particular boulevards, uh, various boulevard um, castings from actually five, uh, excuse me, from Ollie's discount. And the best part of, of these cars is they're actually a dollar fifty nine or sixty nine a piece at Ollie's. A very good deal for cars that usually ran between anywhere between three and four dollars a piece. We have um, the Honda Civic Coupe. Got a few of those. And <clears throat> 57 Chevy Bel Air. Um, I pretty much bought these just for we as wheel donors most likely. But I won't cut them up or take them out apart until I actually need them. I think I put a used a set of these wheels Real Rider wheels on a BMW M3, if not mistaken. And they also had, at Ollie's, they had this uh, Carvel uh, cars. I think these were like 239 so it's also a good deal with these. And they had a whole set there, but I really was more interested in just the power panel. Okay. This is a car I got from one of my Canadian buddies up north there um, in Ottawa. Um, thanks, Paul. This is a gold version of the Chrysler 300C. I have a silver one, or chrome one. Um, I told him he posted this on Facebook, and I said, oh, that's pretty nice. I, uh, that'd be nice to have, and next thing you know, he says, I can have it. So, thanks, Paul. Um, very cool piece. That will stay carded. Okay. Um, the next couple cars are RLC cars, or Hot Wheels cars. This, of course, is the last K-Day. Mail-in. This is the custom 56 Ford truck. 
Um, finally got two more of these, so I have a total of three. And then this was last, uh, two weeks ago, excuse me, two weeks ago, the, the Hot Wheels Redline Club, uh, Hot Wheels Club uh, deal of the day, Thursday deal of the day. This is the 72, let's get a better picture here, the 72 um, Ford Gran Torino Sport. Glad I got two of these. These are very nice pieces. Uh, the paint on this is immaculate. Uh, these are numbered as well. Total of 3,500 pieces. I have numbers uh, 1,262, which is this one. And this one is 2,349. Jump into Matchbox really quick. We have, I have several, four pieces here. These actually found at Big Lots. These are um, the larger size um, pieces. They're still 164, I think, but they're larger um, construction pieces. Um, these are at Big Lots at $5.50 a piece. We have the GMC C800, excuse me, C8500 tree trimming truck. And one that's a little bit harder to find, the excavator. Um, there's another one that I'm really trying to find. It's the <clears throat> it's same uh, particular casting excavator, but it's in the ink, the INC, the blue and yellow um, deco that I've been looking for. That's hard to find. This is a cool piece. I'll probably open that one. Uh, I found this one at Ernie's today as well. This is the uh, Matchbox um, MB2 Pontiac Fiero. I thought that was a kind of neat find. And this particular piece I got through a trade um, through Brent, who's also a club member. A very cool piece. Uh, I don't know what the official name of this is. Let's see if it says in the back. The official name is Kenworth Cab Over Racing Transporter. Uh, it's got a 1983 time, time uh, date on that. So around that 80s, around that era, very, very cool piece. Um, it's got some nicks and dings. I'm not having to decide if I want to leave it as or if I want to go ahead and just and uh, strip it down and repaint it. Um, very cool piece, though. like that. Awesome. Thanks, uh, friend. Okay. Um, we'll cover those last. Let's go ahead and cover some old uh, main lines that I picked up. Oh, real quick. Um, this one I got from Roy. This is the, of course, the the um, Kroger Halloween exclusive, the Bone Shaker. I already have the Ecto. Um, got this from uh, Roy, who had an extra. So thanks, Roy. Uh, this one particular piece I got from Ken. It's the Hot Ones. Um, cards, mm, cards seen better days, but it, I like the fact that it's a Dotson 200 SX. Very cool. Thanks, Ken. And then the next set of cars I want to show you are a bunch of older uh, main lines. So I'm going to go through these really quickly. We have the Honda Civic Type R. These I found, these most, yeah, all these particular pieces I found at the, um, the flea market. I have a 247, which is the Coaster RX, RX7. This is going to go up north to Paul. So. He needs that one, so I'm going to set that aside. Jaguar XK8. Uh, I like the... Let's see, get some light here. I like the um, the Tampo on this particular one, the Deco. Pretty cool. Porsche. Um, Porsche 930, slope nose. Silver. Uh, this is the Toyota AE86 Corolla. Uh, a guy told me that this was a variation. I have to just double check and see what it is a variation of. I don't know if this is wheels or not. He made it sound like the wheels, so I've got to double check with Sean. Another 24-7 green. I think I have this one already, but at least if I do, it will be an opener. This is the 2003 First Editions Mitsubishi Eclipse. With the cool honking turbo at the uh, out of the hood there. Uh, another Jaguar. XJ220. 
Uh, I like this particular one just because, mostly because of the color, the gold color. I'm not a big fan of those wheel, wheels, but... <clears throat> Fire Eater. One I didn't have. Range Rover. Kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it's almost a dark pink. Uh, this is a particular piece, interesting piece. Um, I haven't seen this before. It's a 95 model series. It's a Dodge Ram 1500. Um, but it's the first truck I've ever seen with a um, truck bed cap on the back. And a guy who has one of these as well claims that the the cap actually comes off. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, not sure if I'm going to open this yet, but I thought that was kind of cool. <clears throat> Poison Arrow. This will go up to north as well to Sean. He, he, uh, his son, he said his son collects the poison arrow, so I'll send that up to him. He'll enjoy that. Set this aside. Uh, this will also go to Sean. Uh, it's the Roll Patrol. It's a Dodge Caravan. Dodge, um, Sean likes the Dodge Caravans. <clears throat> uh, Rescue Ranger with the big-ass motor in the front. Go-kart. I thought this was a cool go-kart. I'm going to get into like these. I don't know how many there are or different ones. I probably have about four or five maybe. That This one's kind of a black and gold. <clears throat> uh, Ferrari 355. Uh, i got to double check, but I believe this is one I don't have. So if it is, that's the case. That, that'll, go, that'll get opened and get uh, added to the case. Another Ferrari 360 uh, Modena, tuned. I haven't decided if I want. I have a couple of these tuned ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to open them up, but I bought it because it was a Ferrari. And then finally, Surf Patrol. Okay. Got a good deal on these. So I'm just probably about maybe, I think it worked out to be about 90 cents a piece for the main lines. All right, the last two pieces I want to share with you. Um, this is one I got from Ishmael as well. He found this. This is the brand new... Volkswagen hauler. Uh, according to the details, it's a 1958 Chevy LCF. Um, that's the hauler itself. And with a 1960 VW Microbus 15 window USA model, which means it probably, yeah, it's um, left hand drive. Very cool piece. This is actually the Gold Chase. Uh, total is 1,600 pieces. Okay. And just so for those that are, are new to M2, um, M2 has various lines and series, of course. You can go on, on their website or on Facebook, and it'll show you all the different series. Um, with regards to the numbers, the the, seri the counts itself, there are basically, for a regular, uh, this quality, the, the, the production numbers are around anywhere between 5,000 and 6,000 pieces with chases running somewhere uh, about half of that, so like around the 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 pieces. When it comes to pieces like this, um, which is the license piece, whether it be VW, Ford, um, Fords, they've had several releases in the Ford, um, the production numbers are actually lower uh, for the main line and even lower for the chases. So, for example, the, the, the Ford or the VW regular um, non-chase pieces um, have a production run of about 3,000 to 4,000 pieces, um, either 3,000 to 3,500 even. Um, where And the chases are, um, the gold chases, excuse me, run anywhere between 800 to 1,600 pieces. Um, the, uh, the super chases, which are, of course are the, the Zamex, um, the raw Zamex chases, those are even, you know, less limited. Um, the 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 chase that I found, the raw Zamek chase that I found of the 124 scale truck that that I had in my previous video was somewhere around 800 pieces, so very low production run. So just so you know, there's a lot of uh, forums in that. That'll go. That'll that'll be saving. I'm um, adding to my hauler, my gold chase hauler, and then finally. Um, to finish out, this is the last piece I want to share with you. Um, I had never seen um, this particular, or never heard of this particular brand before. This is called, um, let me get it focus here. This is called um, Siku, Siku, S-I-K-U. It appears to be uh, German made. 
a lot of German um, um, text on here. This is a Porsche. What kind of Porsche is this? Can't really tell. It's a Porsche um, police car, Polizei. Uh, it has opening doors. Got a lot of detail. Very cool piece. Um, thin, skinny wheels, but doesn't really matter when you're looking from the side. So, um, yeah, it's obviously a Porsche 9 series. I, I don't know which one it is. Um, but very cool. I, I bought it mostly because it's a Porsche, because I collect Porsches, and because um, I used to live in Germany, and I'm very familiar with the Polizei um, cars there. Okay? So, cool piece. Uh, I gotta see, do some research on this this brand, see what other stuff they have, if it's, if it's still available or not. I can't tell. Does this have a date on the back? I don't see. Yeah, I don't see a date on the back, so I can't really tell how old this is, but uh, I'm sure I can find something on eBay or whatever. So, very cool piece. All right. So, that's all I have for today. Um, like I said, next Saturday, November 8th is K-Day. It's technically the last K-Day of the year. Um, so make sure you check that out. I believe, like I said, I believe it is B-Case, which I believe is the AE86 Super Treasure Hunt. And the mail-in for that is the Cadillac Funny Car to finish out the mail-ins. So good luck with that, you guys. Hope you can find some stuff there. Until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.